just boxing, but as we do with many things, it's kind of a mashup of different events and cultures. It's really a night of entertainment. For the speeding ticket. I'm a man of my word. You're stomping your own, your own. Anything over 65, 55, you're on your own. Yo, what's up, man? This is 50 Cent. And you're now watching Val TV. Live from CBS. Junkyard Dog, Jerome Williams, and you're watching Val TV on Vegas TV. I'm Ryan Biden from BlackBerry on the Val TV network, and I'll be showing you the BlackBerry Playbook. So Ryan, um, BlackBerry is introducing this playbook this year, right? Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about it. So this is our uh, playbook tablet. It is a seven inch touchscreen device. Okay. Um, you, a couple of things about it, you probably want to know. It's pretty thin. Right. Uh, less what? than a centimeter, so under 10 millimeters. Weighs less than a pound on our that feels so nice. carried with you, nice in your hand. Pretty durable. Pretty durable. You can toss it in your pocket, take it with you, use it all the time. A um, couple of cool things. It's got a three megapixel camera on the front. Okay. Five megapixel camera on the rear, so take high uh, high fidelity pictures. Mm -hmm. You can also capture 1080p video, so full HD video on this thing. Nice. And then once you've got it on here, you can use HDMI to take it out, put it on your TV, so right. watch it on the big screen. Okay. Um, on the, the software side, some pretty cool stuff going on. It's a really powerful processor under the hood. It's a one gigahertz dual core processor. Nice. It's got a gig of RAM, so this thing's got lots of power. And then what that means, though, is that we can run lots of stuff simultaneously. So it's a multitasking operating system. Without slowing the system down. Exactly. So here I'm playing an HD video. I'm going to go launch a game. Oh wow. Put that up. Watch a couple of other apps. Just gonna show you what we got going on. Go up here. Right wow, and it's just launching app after app and not even slowing down. Everything's running. Yeah, everything's running great. You can see if I swipe over here, we got a quick video game. Oh wow high def video, all continuing to run in the background. So no slowdowns, lots of power if you want to switch back and forth between apps. Um, the other pretty cool thing is on the front here, we don't have any buttons. So you may have seen me do it when we're looking at some of the games, but you can swipe from the bottom up, pushes it up, flick it out, flick it up out of the way, get rid of it, close it. 
Um, if I switch, swipe from side to side, I can see all the apps that are open, all the cool stuff. And then if I come down, it gives me a menu, it gives me options for what to do in the app. So lots of games, lots of videos, lots of music, all that kind of stuff. Uh, on here, the other really cool part connects your home network using Wi-Fi. So lots of options there, whether you've got A, B, G, or N network covered. Uh, then if you've got a BlackBerry, you can also attach it over Bluetooth. So then you've now, if you don't have Wi-Fi available, you can use your uh, BlackBerry as the radio, so you can surf the web or whatever while you're, while you're out. And then the other thing is, you can actually use that connection to your BlackBerry to have a big screen view of your email, your calendar, all that stuff, so you're not squinting at the low screen and now look at the, that stuff on the big LCD. Where's the uh, break man? There it is, wow. so virtual keyboard on this one. Bring it up from the bottom there and take a look at it. Nice big buttons. That's impressive from a screen that's this small that the buttons are actually that big. It's like user friendly. Well, that's it exactly right. You want to make something that's a great package, something everybody can use. I mean, if you decide that a virtual keyboard for whatever reason isn't for you, you can attach a Bluetooth keyboard or a okay. USB keyboard so you get the physical keys as well. Then you keep the whole screen open and you blow your thing on your, on your keyboard exactly, without making it exactly. smaller than the, the competitors' big things, you know, so don't have to worry about packing it around, it's pretty convenient. Well, that's the thing, right? We wanted to make a device that was really mobile, something you didn't mind taking with you. Right. It doesn't look like you're carrying a purse when you're carrying it. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. I like that. That's uh, definitely going to make your life easier to get one of those. Now, you can use this as a uh, cell phone as well, right, Bluetooth? So what the Bluetooth does is allow you to, to take information from your phone. You're still using your phone as your phone. Don't want I don't think you really want to hold this up to your ear, but no, I think it's like a Bluetooth <laughs> maybe child. Oh. <laughs> that would be like a break. Well you got your phone anyway, so we don't we don't want to replace that, we just want to enhance the functionality okay. of your black ear. Okay. okay. That's even better. I like that. I like that you're not all squint out trying to get everything done on your Blackberry, which you know the Blackberry does do everything, so well, exactly. you, you could do it. We got all those smarts there, we just wanted to give you a better way to access them. There it is. I think you guys have uh, exceeded yourselves. You've uh, exceeded the pad game. Um, I like it. So uh, where's my playbook? I will get that for you on the way out. On the way out. So in other words, it's time to go. <laughs> Brian, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate the interview. The playbook. If you don't have one, you're definitely behind on your technology. The latest and greatest in the pads. Blackberry. Killing the game. Get your technology game on. We had a good time here at the CES 2011 International Trade Show, the largest one in the world. And my co-host was definitely on cue. I got cute. Yes, yes, putting it down, Coast to Coast Customs. How you living? Just to recap, we had a wonderful time here talking with 50 Cent and also Common. Uh, we're definitely doing a big way right here in Las Vegas. And we definitely want to say thank you for coming and joining us here. And make sure that uh, this won't be your last 2011 CES. We're doing 2012. Oh, yes. And then some. We're going to go all the way. This right here is my March, my 10th year of coming to the CES show. And this electronic euphor euphoria gets bigger and bigger every year. The technology grows, the people grow, uh, the car game grows, hence the technology. You gotta be on top of your game. So I try to stay one step ahead of the peoples and make it out to Vegas every year so I know what's coming out. I know what's gonna be available in February, March. Yeah, and I'm gonna need to be the first one with that. Understand that. Blackberry, I need that playbook. <laughs> Sleek, I need them headphones. Holla at your boy. And this is Valerie and Q from Coast to Coast. Signing out right here at CES International.